Hey guys, how are you? It's Risa. How you doing? Today I'm very excited because I'm going to teach you how to make my version of a low-fat chocolate muffin. I love chocolate. I love muffins. Put it together and you have a delicious chocolate muffin recipe in my opinion. So preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Spray your muffin tins. Um, I've already done that. And get out your ingredients. You're going to need flour. Um, I used um, just a cup of flour, three bananas. Um, make sure they're ripe because the sweeter the better if you have them in the freezer. Uh, take them out, thaw them, and just mush them up, okay? Three bananas. And it's going to be one cup of flour, five tablespoons of uh, cocoa, okay, which is almost about a half a cup of cocoa, okay? That's three smart points, and for the flour, 12 smart points for one cup. You're gonna need a teaspoon of baking soda, okay? So that's your dry ingredients and a pinch of salt. Um, your wet is, well, the bananas I told you about. Um, I used this uh, plain Greek yogurt. It's three smart points for a three quarters of a cup, and I'm using a half of cup. So it's about two smart points, okay? You're gonna need almond milk, a half a cup. And uh, unless you have skim milk or 1%, whatever milk you wanna use. So just accounting for that, um, it'll be zero points for mine. About a tablespoon of some vanilla. I used, um, I'm using a half a cup of syrup. Um, this is a no sugar syrup, it's Joseph's. You can use Walden, whatever brand you have. You can use sugar if you want. You can use um, Truvia, Stevia, a half a cup, but this is what I'm using. Now I'm using Egg Creations. You can use two eggs, but I'm using two quarters of a cup of the Egg Creations Zero Smart Points. So I'm just trying to get the smart points down and it's gonna be about two uh, per muffin. Okay, so that's pretty low for a a delicious nice size regular size muffin if you make them the mini ones then it'll be probably one smart point okay so that's pretty good you're gonna take your bananas um, I like to keep them in the freezer if they're frozen make sure that you peel them first okay it's just a lot easier if you peel them put them in a baggie and freeze them you're gonna take them and I just use a potato masher and I mashed the bananas. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, wet ingredients first and the dry and then just mix them together. Easy peasy, okay? So I've just mashed them. I had started before and that's it. And I'm gonna add that after. I'm gonna first put in my um, Greek yogurt in a bowl. So I'm getting all the wet ingredients together. My two eggs or egg creations. Uh, half a cup of milk. I'm using the soy milk. A half a cup of the Joseph syrup. Um, I just really love Joseph syrup. It has such a great flavor and it's not too powerful. Like some, some syrups, um, they kind of take over your, reci your, your uh, recipe um, and they're pretty strong. So I just like to use that one. But again, if you want to use a different one, you can. And that's it. Hmm. I'm going to mix that up. Really, really easy. There, so we've mixed that up. Now, you're going to take your dry ingredients. And I have one cup of flour. That's 12 smart points for one cup of flour. I like using regular flour. If you want to use whole wheat flour, you can do that. One cup of flour. 
one teaspoon of baking soda. I have five tablespoons of cocoa, whatever brand you want, or it comes out to about almost about a half a cup. And for uh, smart points, it's three smart points, depending on the brand you use. I'm going to use a pinch of salt just to bring out the flavor and mix it. That's it. I'm going to add the banana now to the wet mixture as well. And I'm going to mix that together. I was looking for my fork. Mix that in. And then I'm just going to add my dry ingredients to my wet ingredients. I just like to just scoop it in and usually I like to mix it in between I'll add some more you can add all of it if you want I'm just going to do a little bit at a time and you're just going to make sure that it's all blended really well easy but you want to make sure that it's really well blended you don't want any lumps or dry chunks in it that wouldn't taste very good would it the other thing I like to use um, for this recipe is some no sugar chocolate chips um, that's optional if you don't want to use any chocolate chips you don't have to um, my family loves chocolate and I love chocolate chips and I found the sugar free ones at the low carb grocery store for a tablespoon it's one smart point and you get quite a bit for one tablespoon I'm going to show you I measured it out and that's quite a heaping tablespoon uh, give or take a few extras you know we all put in a little bit more so well maybe maybe you don't but sometimes I do um, but you know you're spreading it out at over 12 muffins, right? I like to always taste the batter It tastes really good if the batter tastes good, you know That the muffins gonna taste good. That's my philosophy anyway, so All right, I'm gonna add the chocolate chips you can put them on top as well if you want I'm just gonna put them in Actually, I think, yeah, I'm going to put them all in and just mix it. So that's two tablespoons. Each tablespoon is one smart point. Delicious. And now I'm just going to put it in my tray. Put it right here so you can see. Um, I usually like to just take a small measuring cup. And it just makes it easier to pour in to your muffin tray. Just making sure you guys can see. Also, when you're stirring, make sure you get right to the bottom of your bowl and the sides because sometimes the flour tends to stick. I'm just going to put that in. Um, you could make mini ones if you want. Um, as well and then you get lots more yummy I always have to taste it making quite a bit more than I thought actually because I haven't made these for a while okay I guess if you make mini ones you'll get a lot more um, for your buck I like to taste it yum 
Anyways, if you want to, you can sprinkle just a few almonds on top, again, um, just to count for it, or you can make a little frosting on top. I'm just gonna put a few almonds on some of them and keep some plain because I might frost some later. So now I'm gonna bake it at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. Make sure you take a toothpick or a wooden skewer thing and just check it and make sure that it's not raw because who wants to eat a raw muffin? Certainly not me. Anyways, I'm gonna put it in and I'm gonna be coming back to you. Hi guys, I'm back. So it's been 30 minutes and I just wanna tell you that my uh, cupcake holders were smaller, my muffin trays so I took a smaller uh, set, the mini ones, to use up the rest of the batter because I don't like to waste anything. So sometimes your um, muffin tins could be a little bit bigger, smaller, and I guess the last time I made them they were in a bit bigger one. So I'm going to just take them out. So I made another nine little mini ones because I had leftovers and my 12 regular size ones. So if you ever have extra batter left over, just turning off the oven. Um, so I just wanted to show you that here they are. They look really cool, good. And I just wanna show you that I just took my little skewer and you just make sure that there's nothing on it so that um, they're cooked well through. So it was about 30 minutes in my oven at 350 degrees. And I have some almonds on some of them, some plain ones. And um, in my next video, I'm gonna teach you how to make some delicious chocolate frosting. So stay tuned. Let them cool. Um, they're delicious on their own. You could add a little bit of Cool Whip or whipped cream. You can find light one. Uh, light one. Um, you could have, um, some pudding with it, or even some frozen yogurt would be good. Anyways, I hope you like this recipe. Um, please subscribe and uh, share with other people because sharing is caring. And come visit me on my Facebook page, Risa's Recipes and Weight Watchers Tips. Love you guys. Bye for now.